exporting with document sets. You can export all of the document set images into one single PDF file. Similarly, you can group all of the fields from all of your documents into one export to a database. So you can have an export for each document definition. So we've got document definition one, and we're exporting the PDF, and we're also exporting fields A, B, and C. For document definition two, we're exporting fields A and C here to a CSV file, and we have one PDF for this second document. And the third document definition, we're exporting fields A, B, and D. We get one PDF export, and we're exporting just these three fields. With a document set export, in addition, you can combine all four of these fields and all three of these document definitions in this manner. We can have one PDF file that automatically gets formed containing all three of those document definition images, and then all of our data from all of the forms gets exported to one CSV. So just to follow through with that, there's nothing really new in the interface. We can set up field mappings, and again, we can access all of the constituent fields in our data set. And just kind of a reminder uh, that you have the ability to redact information. So a best practice oftentimes, if you've got personal information on your forms, to set up more than one export. One export being redacted, another one not being redacted. And verification using document sets. So document sets can be assembled by separator pages or automatically when applying document definitions. So we know that document definitions have the ability to identify and separate documents. So any document sets that are created in advance manually in the scan station or using barcoded separator sheets will be excluded from automatic assembly. And from the verification interface, when working with document sets, you can use drag and drop to get documents in the correct location and in the correct order. You can use the split and merge features to break apart multi-page documents and then merge them together if there was any error. Uh, bound and unbound allows you to lock and unlock set boundaries. And create document allows you to add a document to the batch. And here we see in the summary form some important things that allow us to compare fields from linked child documents. So here we've got comparison of social security numbers from three different documents, a paycheck stub, a tax return, and a W-2 form. And we've got a rule violation because these numbers don't match. There's a little bit of image degradation right here. So that's critical. And this is what it might look like for a human to do a signature review. And that's something we're not likely to use software to do. Document sets in FlexiCapture scanning is another powerful feature where we can actually in the scanning station interface apply document sets and a scanning operator manually assembles document sets after scanning. So remember in scan station no recognition happens so we can't automatically identify documents but this is one way to ensure that a document set is complete. It has all the constituent components, all the required components, before it is submitted for FlexiCapture processing. So you can see how valuable document sets can be to allow cross-validation of all related documents in a given case. And there are some simple configuration steps. You can apply document set assembly rules and out-of-the-box rules such as comparison rules and you can set up some document exports that give you some power that you didn't have before. So document sets truly do allow you to reduce verification time and quickly compare the most important fields in your document set.